any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of the audio stream, and any and all other use of the accounts of this broadcast without the direct written consent and permission of Champion Sports Radio is strictly prohibited. All rights are reserved by Champion Sports Radio and ChampionSportsRadio.com. This is a presentation of Champion Sports Radio, your home for championship broadcasts. Dragons and Hogs, Southlake, Carroll versus Keeper in this game one of a best of three playoff series. We have it here on Champion Sports Radio as we greet you live this evening from the campus of Plano West Senior High School as Champion Sports Radio in conjunction with CSR TV presents continuing coverage of Southlake Carroll Dragon playoff baseball. Welcome into the ballpark at Plano West. It's the home of the Wolves, and it's a lovely ball diamond that will play host to this second round best of three playoff series. This the second step up the postseason playoff ladder known as the area playoffs. Tonight in Plano, it is the opening game of a best of three featuring the 20-win, eight-loss Hebron Hawks. Hebron, one of five Louisville Independent School District high schools, advancing out of District 6-6A in third place. Opposite Hebron, these guys in from Cameron County. They're the Dragons of South Lake. Carroll with 22 victories against only five losses. Carroll out of District 7-6A, where the Dragons finished in a two-way tie for third place. Hi again, everybody. Alongside my longtime broadcast partner and everybody's friend, Pete Nielsen, I'm Brad Denton. We do bid you a very pleasant good evening and welcome to Playoff Baseball on Champion Sports Radio. And, Peter, as I mentioned, we embark on this, the second round, perhaps a brief review of round one in order. Hawks and Dragons both advance and both in with impressive fashion. Well, if you talk about Southlake Carroll, you talk about a, game, a series against Midlothian, who was a number one seed. And, and thanks, Brad Denton. Good evening, everybody. A two to one lead, a, a series that was plagued by more weather than baseball, but game one ended up as a 2 nothing uh, Carroll win, a game that started on Thursday night, went into Friday night. Then they played game two Friday night, and Midlothian came back and won that one 3-2, to two. came back late Saturday afternoon, the game to move on, so to speak, and Carroll all over the number one seed, Midlothian, and here they are to live again against uh, Steve Stone's bunch who played in it. You know, we talked about our district being nuts the district that, that Hebron plays in, just as nutty. They were the third seed. They went over and took care of business against a group called from Byron Nelson. Yeah, out of the trophy club, and both of those games were played on Friday, and both at Hawks Field, and Hebron wins it, sweeping Byron Nelson to a tune of 4 nothing, and then in the nightcap on Friday, 9-5. to five. Carroll has to work harder than Hebron does. Carroll's series over three ga- days, as you mentioned, while they were dodging rain bucks. Uh, Hebron able to take uh, care of uh, business in rather efficient fashion. On the other hand, Carroll comes in, and this is a foot baseball team that finished the regular year in a flurry with an eight-game winning streak. The, uh, the uh, Dragons, rather, have now won nine of their last ten games. This ought to be some fun. Not the first time this pair has met in playoff competition. We'll be back with the uh, opening pitch after the- Writer Gerald Early said that when they study our civilization 2,000 years from now, there will only be three things that Americans will be known for. The Constitution, baseball, and jazz music. GDYO's Jazz Institute provides young musicians in North Texas the opportunity to learn what it means to be a jazz musician through weekly technique classes and combo rehearsals with professional jazz musicians. From the first note to the final round of applause, GDYO Jazz Institute concerts will amaze and delight both hardcore jazz cats and new fans alike. Learn more about the truly original American art form through the GDYO Jazz Institute online at gdyo.org jazz. 
Point of Origin Design is your one-stop shop for all your apparel, promotional, event, or team uniform needs. Point of Origin Design is a full-service design and logo creation company that offers a wide variety of imprintable and embroidered products. With competitive pricing and quality work, you can't go wrong with Point of Origin Design. It's always best to start at the right point, so visit them online at pointoforigindesign.com. Let them help you plan your next promotional item or design your next t-shirt. That's online at pointoforigindesign.com. Our pregame programming this evening has been brought to you by Meet You Anywhere Barbecue. Go to Meet You Anywhere Barbecue in Grapevine. You'll find the best barbecue in North Texas online at meetyouanywhere.com. That's M E A T, the letter U, anywhere.com. Along with Pete Nielsen, I'm Brad Denton. And Peter, a couple of right handers go tonight for Carroll. It will be Kevin Kramer and for the home team tonight. By flip of a coin, the Hebron Hawk right-hander in David Rodriguez. Rodriguez on the season, 6-2, and 1.49 ERA, 14 appearances. He started 10 games, 58-inning pitch, 41 hits, 15 runs, 12 of them earned, Bradley. 23, 23 walks, 73 strikeouts in those 58 innings. Opponent, bat, opponent batting average against David Rodriguez. 196, and he'll be facing this South Lake Carolina. The leadoff hitting Dragon second baseman Drew Davis to be followed by first baseman Casey Combs batting second. Playing center field batting third is Eric Cole. The cleanup hitting Carroll catcher is Nick Motley. He'll be followed by designated hitter Zach Farrar hitting for the starting pitcher Kevin Kramer. Hitting sixth playing left field Ross Cadena. Bottom third of the Dragon order right fielder Ryan Bellamy followed by Brendan Gonzalez, who plays third base tonight, and the shortstop is Stephen Billington. Again for Carroll, Davis, Combs, and Cole, Motley, Farrar, and Kadena, followed by Bellamy, Gonzalez, and Billington, and they will face again David Rodriguez. Six wins, two losses on the year, a 1.45 ERA. We'll introduce you to the Hawks defensively after this first pitch. It is Drew Davis, the senior second sacker with a 314 average, digging in right side. And Rodriguez finds the mark with the game's initial pitch. Hold, strike one. Evan Alexander's the left fielder. Zach DeLaRoche is in center. Derek Mueller is in right. Michael Neustefter is the third baseman. Josh Abelos is at short. Alec Davis at second. Jarrett Farley over at first. Lane Moore behind the plate. And we've told you about David Rodriguez. One and one the count to Drew Davis. The kick, the deal, and fisted out of play down the right side. The word on David Rodriguez, if you're going to get to him, get to him early because he gets stronger as the game moves along. Well, that's true with any good pitcher. You want to get to him before he's fully engaged. And how many times have we seen that this year? True battle. Staying alive, we continue with one ball, two strikes. Historically... Hebron and Carroll have gotten together. Playoff competition one other time by District 2007. And Carroll swept the best of three, two games to none. And then they were bunkmates in district competition, back-to-back seasons, 2009 and 2010, playing each other twice per season. Hebron never has beaten Carroll. 6-0, and the Dragons lead the series. Rodriguez misses high with the curveball. And there's the pitch lifted down the right field line, twisting in foul territory. Mueller gives Jason what a nice catch by Derek Mueller sliding on the right knee in the process. Outstanding play by Mueller. We saw him make his way in the football season as a wide receiver, not, not scared to go over the middle. Brad Denton, he wasn't scared to go <laughs> the fence there and make that play for the first out of the inning. Very nicely done. Ran a ways to get there, Derek Mueller. Here's Casey Combs, Dragon first baseman. 361, the Combs average on the year. A little bit of pop, too, lately with Casey Combs. Really had a nice series against Midlow. Combs will be followed by Eric Cole. Here's David Rodriguez. Again, unable to find the mark with the breaking ball. Wind blowing out here, and this is not a big ballpark. Uh, The words that were used in the coaches' meeting, bandbox-like. That's swatted up the middle, one hop and through the infield, right back through the box off the barrel of Casey Combs. I told you he was hot, BD, and that time he takes it right back at Rodriguez, right up the middle, and 
if Casey's been hot, this young man right here has been hotter, and that's Eric Cole. Eric, a youngster who missed the first third, maybe even half of the regular season after wrist surgery last fall. But he has come on like gangbusters, hitting 413. A youngster who can play some baseball, center fielder committed to Arkansas. Rodriguez swinging over the top of a one, two hoppers to Jarrett Farley. He'll do it himself at first base. Advancing to second is Combs, but now two down on Cole's first pitch hitting of Rodriguez. Good job by Farley because Cole will fly. He, he didn't take that for granted. He got over to the bag pretty quickly. And Again, here's Nick Motley with a man in scoring position, and he has been hitting the ball solidly in the last three weeks. Now, Brad, solidly, yes, and bad luck most of the time. Now, Nick, far and away, the RBI leader for Carroll. Lane Moore, the Hebron catcher, goes out to talk to his pitcher, and I'll make you a wish they'll be very careful with Nick Motley with first base open. Motley, 35 RBIs, six home runs, seven doubles. And hits for average as well, Brad. Yeah, again, 429 on the average. He'll lay off the curveball. That goes ball one. You mentioned this, the, the dimensions of this place not being very well, very long, but uh, even shorter tonight as there is a gale blowing straight out to center field. Call strike one to quantify the band box. 320 down the right and left field lines. Uh, no marker in straightaway center, but just off of straightaway center, you see the signs that read 380. And those signs in the gaps. Come on, Coach Clark. (laughs) 1 1 pitch to Motley. That's in for a knee high called strike just on the outside corner. Yeah. Good pitch that time by by Rodriguez down in the zone. That's what you got to do against Nick. You got to stay down and and make him, and sometimes Brad, get himself out. A ball, two strikes. Motley digs in, runner in scoring position, two men out. Her ball way wide from Rodriguez, two and two. Down the third base coaching box is Austin Cranford for Carroll. First base coaching box, Larry Vukin. Vukin also doubling as the pitching coach, and we'll often see Larry Vukin come out to visit with the mound every bit as much as you see head coach Larry use. Rodriguez from the belt. Nice He's been blowing away, run the count full to Nick Motley. What a nice job by Lane Moore keeping that in front, Brad, as, as Rodriguez went even further outside that time to get Motley to chase and, and no go. Mentioned they would be careful with Motley, and when Rodriguez has been in the strike zone, they have been low, good pitches, otherwise <laughs> well out of the strike zone. Here's the payoff pitch. Now leaves it outside and walks Motley. Maybe one of those unintentional, intentional walks, and Blake Johnson's going to come in and and run for, I'm sorry, Alex Johnston will run as the courtesy runner. And be careful what you ask for if you're a Hebron Hawk fan because (laughs) here comes another guy that's been just on fire in Zach Farrar. He's the junior designated hitter, a robust average at 448. 13 RBIs, five doubles, and he can swing it from the left side. And good speed. That's Combs at second, Motley at first base. Scoreless top of the first, two down. Hebron at 20 wins, eight losses. The Carroll Dragons have won 22 of 27 starts. And here's Rodriguez trying to wiggle off the hook. Leaves it down and in. Unable to locate the breaking ball here in the top of the first is David Rodriguez. Pitching very, very carefully to the middle of his lineup. Should Ferrara reach, sophomore left fielder Ross Cadena will be next. Help him. A healthy rip and nothing but the exercise does help him. A ball and a strike to Zach Farrar. 
You see Carroll. The visitors tonight dressed in the road grays. Oh, that's a smash to center field. Delos comes on, fields it on a hop, fires to the plate. One run will score as Casey Combs steps on the pay station. Fastball right up the middle, and Zach Farrar doesn't try to do too much with it, BD, and just takes it right back up. And nice job by Delos coming up and throwing just good speed by Casey, and he outruns the, the throw to the plate. And first and second now with one and two out for the Dragons, and here comes Kadena. A 14th run batted in by one Zach Farrar. And here's Kadena, sophomore hitting 333. And Rodriguez not off the hook yet, trailing one nothing. There's the pitch, low and away. Very early on at Plano West, the ballpark at Plano West. Standing in is Ross Cadena. Rodriguez kicks and deals. It goes nothing in or two balls, no strikes. Very, very careful. Not to throw many of these dragon hitters fastballs here. And obviously that's the scouting report to Coach Stone has. Steve Stone, longtime head coach at Hebron. In fact, the only baseball coach that Hebron High School's ever had. Yeah, a couple of veteran head coaches. Uh, coach Stone, 15th year of heading up this varsity program, was there when they opened the doors at Hebron High School in 1999. Initial year, a sub varsity schedule. 2001, the first varsity baseball club at Hebron. As I, you mentioned, Steve Stone's been there for every step of the way and has had some good baseball teams. Mm-hmm. There's called strike on Kadena. The count goes two balls, two strikes. Probably too early to start talking about this, Brad, but the winner of this series will go on and play the winner of the Cop Hell Flower Mound Marcus series. That'll start tomorrow night over at Quick trip park. Never too early to talk about that, Peter. Now goes full as Rodriguez misses outside. Yeah, very familiar foes to either one of these teams. Mm-hmm. Capel, it'll be a district mate for one. Well, either way, you know, it sure could not. be district market mates. It, it all depends. Three and one. Ryan Bellamy, the right fielder, stands on deck. Swinging. And sits three balls, two strikes. On Kadena. Runners were going there on the full count. Yeah, two out. They should be. If they're not, Larry used to be upset. <laughs> Mentioned Steve Stone, 15th year at Hebron. How about Larry Hughes, a 19th season at South Lake Carroll. Curve uh-huh. ball upstairs, load them up on the second to- Walk issued the inning here by Rodriguez. Almost looks like David's starting to aim it a little bit, trying to maybe overthrow that curveball. And good patience here by this Carroll bunch. And here comes Bellamy, and he's been in search in the lineup lately, and he's really been playing well offensively and defensively for this Dragon team. Ryan, the senior right fielder, he has brought that average up to a respectable 262. Kind of RBI. All strike one to Bellamy. Boy, Brad, those RBI numbers have come up since district play. Remember, we, we, we were kind of looking. It was it was Motley and Farrar and maybe a few others, but now it's a bunch of guys in double figures. Here's the pitch by Rodriguez. That's upstairs. You know, Pete, looking at the stat sheet, I recall, but right before district started, we had that Arlington Heights non-district game, the home opener for the Dragons, and I recall Carroll hitting 328 as a team into that one. They are right now. <laughs> They're back to 328. And they dip for a few games down to around 312, 310. Yeah, and th- those first two district games or those first two district series, or three district series, in fact, Brad, those were, you know, you, you face Capel and we find out about Trinity, we find out about Richland. It wasn't easy. <laughs> now, in fact, Carroll had lost to three games in a row and uh, to open District 7 6 I play. Then they right of the ship and, in fact, uh, ended up eight wins, four losses overall. There's Steve Stone out to talk to his right hander in David Rodriguez as the Dragons have loaded him up. They've already plated one. And it is Bellamy standing in with two balls and one strike. 
and Johnston at third base. Ferrar is at second. Now Kadena occupying first base. And Bellamy looking to blow this open early. Here's Rodriguez. He'll kick and deal. The fastball's up chin high, and it's ball three. Boy, certainly a hitter's count here for Ryan Bellamy. Nowhere to put him. Three balls and a strike. Rodriguez to the plate. That is upstairs and forcing in a run. That's Johnston scoring a third base on balls issued here in the top of the first. Everything is up, and, and, and that was close, Brad, but, you know, we've talked about it all year. If you're struggling with the strike zone and, and you are you get one close, gonna you ain't going to get the call. Rodriguez to Gonzalez. There's the called strike one. Boy, Brandon Gonzalez has been a revelation. He had an unbelievable defensive series last week against Midlothian. Up high, remind you that tonight's broadcast of Carroll Dragons Playoff Baseball on Champion Sports Radio is brought to you in part by Jeff Irwin, State Farm Insurance Agency. For all of your insurance needs, call Jeff, area code 817-251-8900. That's Gonzalez lifting it into shallow right field. Derek Mueller has a beat on it and makes the play, but not before. A couple of runs played it in the top of the first by the Carroll Dragons, do that on two hits and leave the bases loaded. 2 nothing. Carroll with Hebron coming to bat. 2,000 years from now, there will only be three things that Americans will be known for. The Constitution, baseball, and jazz music. GDYO's Jazz Institute provides young musicians in North Texas the opportunity to learn what it means to be a jazz musician through weekly technique classes and combo rehearsals with professional jazz musicians. From the first note to the final round of applause, GDYO Jazz Institute concerts will amaze and delight both hardcore jazz cats and new fans alike. Learn more about the truly original American art form through the GDYO Jazz Institute online at gdyo.org jazz. Point of Origin Design is your one-stop shop for all your apparel, promotional, event, or team uniform needs. Point of Origin Design is a full-service design and logo creation company that offers a wide variety of imprintable and embroidered products. With competitive pricing and quality work, you can't go wrong with Point of Origin Design. It's always best to start at the right point, so visit them online at pointoforigindesign.com. Let them help you plan your next promotional item or design your next t-shirt. That's online at pointoforigindesign.com. Bottom half of the first inning here at the ballpark in Plain OS. Dragons put a two spot up on the board in the top of the inning. And this half inning of Dragon Baseball is brought to you by Alcorp Marketing. Thank you to Ben Allen and the Allen family. To find out more, visit AlcorpMarketing.com. Alcorp marketing. Here's Brad. The right-hander gets the start for the Dragons. He's a senior by the name of Kevin Kramer. Six wins, two losses, making a tenth start on the year. Had a save in there, and how about the ERA 0.652? Kevin's pitched 53 in two-thirds innings, giving up 29 hits, eight runs, five earned. Walked only 14 while striking out 64. His first offering to Hebron right fielder Derek Mueller is upstairs in ball one. There's Kramer, the called strike on the knee on the outside corner. Derek Mueller to be followed by Evan Alexander. That's in the air. That's out of play. Right side batting third for Hebron tonight is the muscle in Michael Newstifter, third baseman. Center fielder Zach Deloche will hit cleanup. Ross Lau, a designated hitter in the five hole, followed by first baseman Jarrett Farley. Alec Davis plays second base, bat seventh, batting eighth to catcher Lane Moore. Josh Avalos will bat ninth and play shortstop. Now a ball and two strikes to a patient Derek Mueller. Kevin Kramer on the season six and two, 1.62 ERA. Nine starts, ten appearances, 53.2 thirds innings. That's in the air off the end of the bat, not going to make it out of the infield. The shortstop is 
Stephen Billington, and he says, I got to tell him the truth right behind second base to retire Mueller. In those 53 innings, only eight runs allowed. Five of them earned, has struck out 64, only walked 14. Not going to overpower you. No, he'll, he's a smart. He reminds me of a lefty, but he's righty. Just does a nice job of not hurting himself and pounding the strike zone. Evan Alexander is a junior and has had a heck of a year playing left field, hitting at 359. Dragons defensively after this pitch. That's Kramer. That's called strike one. One and one to Alexander. Ross Cadena in left. Eric Cole in center. Ryan Bellamy in right. Third baseman is Begon. Brandon Gonzalez. Steven Billington's the shortstop. Drew Davis. I was off his foot. Mm-hmm. Drew Davis, the second baseman. Casey Combs over at first. Nick Motley behind the plate, and we've introduced you to Kevin Kramer. And Evan Alexander with one ball and two strikes. Works against Kramer. One out, nobody on. Dragons a 2 nothing lead. Bottom of one. Curveball, unable to find the strike zone. Level the count out at 2-2. Two and two. In the air, other way, twisting into foul territory. Kadena gives chase, but can't run it down. And staying alive is one Evan Alexander. The count will remain at two balls and two strikes. Nice crowd here tonight. Nice night here tonight. This is a blessing compared to the weather we've had. And apparently, we're not done with it, B. Well, don't start looking at the radar yet. Hacked on the ground, one, two hops, and then foul run down by Kramer. Kevin did everything he could to find that thing in fair territory, but almost radar guided. The magnet pulled it out of bounds, and Alexander stays at two balls, two strikes. Well, I wasn't speaking about tonight. No, I know what you're talking about. We are getting used to dodging the raindrops and may have some more in our future here in round two. I spent more time at Quick Trick Park last weekend than I did at home. Boy, Evan Alexander up there battling. Fouls this one off into the netting. I am pleased to report there is nothing on the radar within 100 miles of us right now. Alexander looks at ball three. One, I'm pleased to report I don't see an empty seat in the house and a lot of them standing down near the dugouts. Full count pitch, Alexander in the air, center field. Drifting back as Eric Cole has the beat on it and makes the catch going away. Hit pretty well by Alexander, but the 3-2 pitch is lassoed in by Eric Cole in center field. The ninth pitch of the at-bat and a good at-bat by Evan Alexander, but there's Kramer. That's Kevin Kramer right there, Brad. Here's New Stifter, and Peter, are we surprised to say the youngster's hitting 427 with eight home runs and nope. how about 41 RBI? Nope. We knew he was going to be something special last year, and we got to see him play. Just a junior has already committed to the uh, Oklahoma State University. Here's Kramer to New Stifter, up high ball one. It's starting to grow into that body. Have you noticed how much he's thinned up a little bit and maybe gained a grow, grew a couple inches? Boy, oh, boy, does he look like a baseball player now. Boy, he tops one down the third baseline. Kramer bounces, now fires, and retires New Stifter one to three. So one, two, three, go the Hawks in the home half of the first inning. We continue from Plano West with our score, South Lake Carroll two and Heber nothing. On all the latest news about the teams you care about and know when your favorite games are on the air thanks to Champion Sports Radio social media. Either follow at Champion Sports on Twitter or like our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Champion Sports Radio and you will know what time your game starts, who was named Player of the Week, or what your school's alumni are doing in college. That's on Twitter at Champion Sports and Facebook.com slash Champion Sports Radio. Your home for championship social media. In Command Broadcasting, a sports TV broadcasting and marketing company. In Command Broadcasting provides a wide array of turnkey video production and streaming services. In Command services include filming of sporting events, season highlights, school graduations, corporate infomercials, and documentaries. In Command streams your sporting event or company function over the internet live or on demand. Call 972-851-7888 to raise the energy of your next event. In Command Broadcasting, 972-851-7888.
top of the second inning here at Hebron, uh, excuse me, at the ballpark in Plano West. Dragons lead 2 0. 9 1 and 2 coming to the plate for the Dragons. Here's Brad. Yeah, that after a busy top of the first when Carroll sent eight to the plate and scored two. Two base hits and three walks in that first frame for Carroll. There's the pitch and swinging Billington. Two hops. Newstifter makes the easy across the way throw. And very quickly, Billington retired Newstifter to Jarrett Farley. Well, he needed that because he threw 33 pitches in the top half of the first inning. So get get quick out here to start the second. Go back to the leadoff hitting second baseman Drew Davis. Flew out to Derek Mueller, and Derek made a marvelous play to open this ball game in foul territory down the right field line. Hits this one pretty well. Straight away center, Deloche playing him perfectly and makes the play. This half inning is brought to you by Speedy B Car Wash on Davis, where they believe they have to earn your business on each and every visit. Visit them online at speedybcarwash.com and around the plate sports where personalized coaching changes practice into passion and transforms players into champions. Check out aroundtheplatesports.com for more information. And uh, if... Casey Combs swings at the first pitch. <laughs> There'll be a fine. Do they have that in high school? You saw Coach Cranford Coach call Cran- down Combs just to try to slow this thing down after two very quick outs. Rodriguez to Casey Combs. He'll Whoa. square and duck out of the way. Look out, Casey. But he's able to spin away from a high and tight David Rodriguez fastball. That'll get him loosened up. <laughs> Combs with a base hit and scored the game's first run just an inning ago. Called a strike two. Uh, or strike one, rather. Make it for one and one. Paint the corner after getting one in the ear hole. That's tough. <laughs> Boy, painting that corner again on the black wide. Called strike two. BD, a little excitement here in between innings. and I'll let you do the, I mean, a former Hebron Hawk walking in the building. Pretty big of a big deal. <laughs> you're going to have to point out, what am I missing? Well, <laughs> left-hander now, a member of the Texas Re- oh, Rangers, Sammy Freeman in the ball in the ballpark. A decade later. Mm-hmm. He was How about on that? that 2005 Hawk team on the ground wide of third. Combs stays alive. In fact, Steve Stone's winningest baseball club. They won 26 ball games and took about four, maybe five steps deep into the playoffs there, 2005 in May, the last year that Heben was a 4A school. And Sammy Freeman played a very credible center field for that group. He was more of a center field than he was a pitcher yeah, back then. Sure was. 2-2 on that one, just missed outside by David Rodriguez. Run it full to Combs, and there's the game's initial strikeout. <laughs> So one, two, three, go the Dragons in the top of the second inning. Middle of two from the ball yard at Plano West. And our count continues. Dragons two, Hawks nothing. You'll see projections for the next quarter are. He shoots, he scores. Two points for team middle management. The office is not one of them. Jack, can I see you in my office? No pouting. It's your ball. Let's see what you got. But Whirly Ball is. For corporate events, team building, and private parties, Whirly Ball in Hearst and Plano is electric fun. Test your skills on the arcade games. Zip around in your Whirly Bug for a Whirly Ball competition. Or play the most affordable laser tag in the city. Learn more at whirlyball.info. If you're a basketball parent or coach, you need StatGeek, the simplest way to keep stats ever created. Our easy-to-use iPad app turns anyone into a professional statistician, and all they have to do is simply follow the ball, produce full and accurate box scores and play-by-play reports, send accurate stats out to your fans, media, or recruiters. It's sports statistic collection redefined. StatGeek is available right now in the iPad App Store for just $4.99, and there are team fundraising opportunities available as well on the web at StatGeek.com. StatGeek, keep your eye on the ball. Nothing Blunt Cakes, proud sponsor of Southlake Carroll Dragon Baseball. So yummy, you'll wish they didn't have a hole in them. Stop by the location at South Lake Town Square or 817-416-6228. Nothing bun cakes. Bottom half of the second. Zach LaRoche for Hebron. Here's Brad. Thank you, Peter. 
you and I both know that Zachary Deloche is one ball playing dude. Mm -hmm. Fine pitcher, a terrific center fielder, and how about a batting average at 457? Deloche, just a sophomore. Returning starter, sparkled a year ago as a yearling. For Steve Stone, two balls, no strikes. Kramer working against Zach Deloche. There's the pitch, and it's called strike one. Deloche with eight doubles, one home run. He's driven in 20, and again, the average, four, five, seven. Kevin Kramer over the top, hit in the air. Cole gives chase. That's going to be down to Loesch for extra bases. He'll dig for second and turn and head for third. He's on his way to third to relay the throw. See for third base, Zach Deloche with a ringing triple to lead off the bottom of the second for the Hebron Hawks. Just a fastball out over the plate. Zach throws his hands at it. And not many balls gets over Eric Cole at Cole's head in center field, but that one did. He knew it was in a hurry. And great job by Cole tracking that thing down and getting it into Loesch flying, standing on third base now. First Hebron hit, first Hebron base runner. Here's Ross Lau. Hawk designated hitter wears number nine, hits 292, the average senior at 5'10", 195. Kramer works to Lau. Curveball catches the outside corner and a friendly call from home player Jeremy Dutton. Kramer from the belt over the top. That's again a strike called. Consistent as Mr. Dutton behind the plate giving the wide strikes. No outs. Dragons the lead, 2 nothing. That one stays a little wide. A ball, two strikes to Lau. And Ross flexed his muscles last week with a home run in the by district sweep of Trophy Club Byron Nelson. There's the pitch. Nice job by Motley going down and acting as the wall behind the plate there. Two balls, two strikes. Former eight RBIs for Lau on the season. This is where Kevin Kramer's normally at his best, Brad, when he gets pushed up against the wall. Got a swing and a miss. And the first strikeout notched by Kevin sends Lau back to the dugout. Now one out and one on. The runner at third off the inning opening triple is Zach Deloche. As on cue, the fastball up out of the zone and, and just too good to not swing at. And he swings right through it for the first out. First baseman Jarrett Farley. Curveball on the ground. Should chase home a run. Fielded by Drew Davis. He'll go the easy way. And four to three. Farley chases home Deloche. Two to one the ball game. Dragons lead. Scissored in half. Coach Hughes choosing to keep the infield back and Old Jarrett Farley does his roll one to Drew Davis and easy run. Two to one. Nice job by Farley. Here's Drew Davis' counterpart, also Mr. Davis, also second baseman, Hebron's Alec Davis. Senior hitting at 246. Takes ball one from Kramer. Here's Kevin now working from the windup over the top and slashed out of play right side. A pencil problem. You comfy? Very comfy. Very pleasant evening. We're here for you. We do appreciate that, Peter. Good pitch. Yeah, good sweeping curveball finds the zone. A ball, two strikes. Had some news come out of Carroll, the athletic department, new mm. athletic director name this week. Guy we got to know a little bit during the playoffs last year, football wise, and a guy we've known from. From other stay, you know, being down in Round Rock, and what a good guy, what a great steal this is for the Carroll ISD and Darren Allman. Yeah, Darren Allman had the one-year run, came up here from Central Texas after that successful run at Austin Westlake, and last year had Colleyville Heritage, but only for a year. The attractive offer from the Carroll ISD, and he is now the new athletic director. And I've heard a lot of good things about Daryl Allman through the years. Well, you know, he walks into a pretty good job. 
Yep. Uh, you got a baseball pro- program under Larry Hughes. You got a football program under Hal Watson. And the girls are pretty spectacular, too. And wow, what an opportunity for Darren. In the air, right side, Drew Davis on the rim of the infield will pull it down to retire Alex Davis. But not before the Hawks score a run, do it on a hit, no errors, and uh, uh, nobody left on base. We have played two. We're at the ballpark at Plano West and a new count with Carroll's lead over Hebron trimmed to two and one. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that nearly 4 million brain injuries occur every year due to sports in the U.S. They also estimate that 70% of concussions go unreported. Not identifying concussions early can be devastating, especially if the athlete continues to play with symptoms. Catching hard hits fast is critical, and that's why you need the Shockbox Helmet Impact Sensor. The Shockbox is a small sensor that easily attaches to most football, lacrosse, and hockey helmets and instantly sends a signal to a smartphone on the sidelines when the player has taken a hard hit that puts them at higher risk for injury. The free app receives data from the sensor, displays information about the impact, and even walks the user through a concussion assessment. The app also logs symptom and impact data for future medical use. Visit ShockboxDFW.com to learn more about the Shockbox Impact Alert Sensor and determine if it is the right option for your child. Be warned instantly when a player has experienced a head impact that could result in a concussion. Visit ShockboxDFW.com today. ShockboxDFW.com as we head to the third inning the carroll dragon lead two to one over the hebron hawks we remind you that tonight's broadcast of dragon playoff baseball on champion sports radio brought to you in part by meet you anywhere barbecue go to meet you anywhere barbecue you'll find the address in grapevine and you'll find the best barbecue in North Texas here for the third inning and the play-by-play calls my partner Pete Nielsen. Well, thank you, Brad Denton. Eric Cole at the plate here, top of the hat for the third inning. Cole 0 for 1 in the night. A ground out to the first baseman on the first pitch you saw back in the first inning. Now ahead in the count, 2-0. 4-13, the average for Eric Cole since coming back. And, boy, boy, we talked about how offensively this team has boomed with him in the three slot. Yeah, he's totally changed complexion. And in the perfect world, you might have Eric Cole as your leadoff hitter. But on this baseball team, in this lineup, uh, he has flourished as a three-hole. 2-1 by Rodriguez. Gets the inside corner strike, too. Strike zone, kind of a moving target right now. Hopefully things can get cleaned up and... I think, Brad, we've talked about it 100 times over the years. Just be consistent. Up and out of the zone, ball three. Full count to Cole here. Top half of the third inning. Beautiful ballpark at Plain OS. Dragons lead 2-1. to one. But down the left field line. Hit well. Carrying deep to left fielder back. Evan Alexander. Makes the play for the first out of the inning. That's a nice play by Alexander. The left-hander hitting it the other way. Thing kind of looked like it knuckled a little bit out there, and it was deep, and he went back at about the warning track to make the snag. And and you can see how shallow that wall truly is. Here's Motley. A patient walk back in the second inning. Courtesy runner Alex Johnson came around to score for Nick. 429 on the season. I tell you, if you're Rodriguez and facing the meat, meat of the matter here with Cole, Motley, and Farrar, you don't want to lose your leadoff guy. Yeah, keep it down. <laughs> Fastball. Telephone. My phone is ringing. Somewhere. One and one. Is that for you? No, no. I uh, make that professional move every play. Turn Line it off. Travel. Oh, tough hop that time. And the second baseman, Alec Davis, can't come up with it. Brad, the field here at Plano West is turf than grass, and I think that ball hit right where it turns from turf to grass and took a weird hop. Alex Davis not able to come up with it. And Looking at my brethren up here in the pro, in the, what do you guys think? Hit or error? Trying to get a consensus. I, I, I think it's an error. I'm going to say E4 right along with you. I'll make that play. And if you ask Alec, I bet you he'd tell you, yeah, should have made that play. Here's Farrar. RBI single in the first, swinging first pitch. 
Throws it down the left field line. BD, you're going to have to help me. Well, I'm, I'm, I got a little wall issue here. Alexander gave it a good chase deep into foul territory, but wasn't close with coming up with a, a Derek Mueller like uh, rundown, if you will, in foul territory. Alex Johnston with great speed. Once again, the courtesy runner for Nick Motley there at first base. And here's for our RBI 14 on the season, his first time up, Brad. He has been on fire. Down the count, 0 1. Right hander Rodriguez sets. Comes to the plate. Runner goes. A little hit. Excuse me, a little hit and run by Larry Hughes and fouled off now, one and two. Fun yeah. before the ball game, P, when we went down to get our lineups and able to eavesdrop and participate in the conversation with Hebron coach Steve Stone and Carroll coach Larry Hughes. They go back a ways. You, you think we've, those two have seen a little bit of baseball? And you think about those two, and the thing, one of the things they have in common is one Lance Brown, the very respected baseball name in North Central Texas and around. Larry Hughes played for Lance Brown as a high school player when Brown had the Irving MacArthur program. Hey, Bradley, how about almost 1,000 wins between those two gentlemen? <laughs> Steve Stone played for same Lance Brown at TCU a decade later. Ferrar swings through the curveball and for the second out, but Johnson moves up. Stoyt Seals second base now with two out. And here's Katina. Boy, Ross had a good at bat his first time working a walk at stranded at second base back in the first inning. You mentioned the wheels of Johnston. We saw him. Yeah. You saw the throw by Lane Moore. Using the turf to hop, and, and it, the ball actually looked like a gain speed on the bounce and made it closer than it need, didn't look like it was going to be. Dragons now in a runner in scoring position, two out. See if Ross can pick him up. 0 1. Foul back off the glove and mask of the catcher, Lane Moore. Rodriguez way out ahead, 0 2. And it seems as if David Rodriguez uh, has in. found his sea legs here over the last couple innings. Yeah, and you talked about it in the open, Brad. You said get him early or you're not going to get him. And so far, that is the case. Just a bit high on the 0-2. Hebron finishing District 6-6A behind champion Flower Mounds of Jaguars and the, the Marcus Marauders. And in front of the fourth playoff qualifier, the Plano Wildcats. That's out of play. Farley gives chase. Can't run it down. Thank you, BD. Had to take care of a little bit of a technical <laughs> issue here. Got, got some, some feet in the fire here. One and two. Two out here, top half of the third inning. Dragons lead 2-1. Runner in scoring position is Johnston. The 1-2 to Kadena. Curveball, strike three. Swung right through it. So Rodriguez gets through the inning. No runs, no hits. One man left on base. We're through two and a half here at the ballpark at Plano West. Dragons lead 2-1. Are you looking for a way to promote your business or increase exposure? Do you just need more people to know that you're there? Join the Champion Sports Radio team and advertise during these games. In the last four years, Champion Sports Radio has broadcast over 600 games to more than 3.5 million listeners. And Champion Sports Radio wants to help you use major high school sports to reach thousands of local fans right in your community. Think about it. Die-hard fans just like you tune in each and every week giving your business unparalleled access to the community. It's the perfect way for smaller, individually-owned businesses to cultivate a core clientele or expand their already loyal customer base. To secure your prime commercial spot during the broadcast, contact Thomas Lee at Champion Sports Radio by phone at 972-741-0334. That's 972-741-0334 or online at championsportsradio.com. Champion Sports Radio, your home for championship broadcasts.
Hebron catcher Lane Moore will lead it off for the Hawks. He'll work against the Carroll right-hander Kevin Kramer with the call. Pete Nielsen. Moore 203 on the season. Some power though, B. Home run, 19 RBIs for the catcher. Kevin Kramer back out on the bump. Two innings. In the book. Ball one outside. One on one. Moore steps out, gives me an opportunity to remind you that tonight's broadcast of Dragon Playoff Baseball on Champion Sports Radio brought to you in part by Heritage Homes. Building fine custom homes in South Lake and surrounding communities. Heritage Homes, a proud sponsor of Dragon Baseball 2015. Kramer heading the count now, 1-2. Just missed down. Good eye that time by Lane Moore. Brad, you mentioned 203, but the, the 19 RBIs out of the eight spot, that's got to be a plus for Steve Stone. Fastball, strike three. Strikeout number two for Kevin Kramer. Here comes Josh Albalos, and Albalos coming off of an injury. Brad just getting back into the lineup for the Hawks. Senior second baseman or rather shortstop tonight. Second baseman a year ago in Hebron's very successful 2014 run. In fact, recall a year ago, Hebron won two, three rounds deep into the playoffs, defeating Colleyville Heritage and Midlothian before the elimination at the hands of the Marcus Marauders. In fact, both of these teams, three rounds deep in the playoffs last year. Of course, the Dragons going down to the team that ended up winning a state championship in the Flower Mound. The Jaguars of Flower Mound. Even Hawks will talk, tell you all about Jaguars of Flower Mound. They've got to face them year in and year out as district running mates there in the Louisville ISD. Even hand fans not very happy with the, uh, the work of our home plate umpire currently. Two and two. Little looper. May has a chance to fall, but no, there's Bellamy. Playing shallow as silly me. As many, most times, Larry Hughes has his defense set up. Bellamy makes the play easily for the second out of the third inning. You know, the Deloche bomb for the triple there in the second inning, one of the very few fly balls that got behind this shallow playing, dragging outfield all year long. Yeah, very true, and, and, and honestly, only the – Really, the only ball that's been centered up by the Seaburn bunch. Fastball on the on the outside corner, strike one to Derek Mueller. Mueller popped out to the shortstop, his first time. Billington comes inside that time, doesn't get the call. Count goes to one and one. Derek Mueller with latent speed, and the Hawks would love to get him on the board and turn a board and turn him loose. Pretty darn good little wide receiver for Brian Brazel in that Hebron Hawk bunch. Line drive to the second baseman. Oh, like always, Drew Davis makes the play look easy. So we're through three. Three up, three down for the Hawks. We go to the fourth. Dragons two. Hawks one. Watching CSR TV's presentation of Carroll Baseball. No, we have a problem until it's too late. On April 2nd, 2009, Zachary Schraw, a 16-year-old sophomore offensive lineman, died of sudden cardiac arrest the number one cause of death among student athletes. Like so many SCA victims, Zach had no heart issues, nor did anyone in his family. If Zach had an echocardiogram, he might have been able to avoid suffering a condition that takes 10,000 of our youth each year. In his memory, Living for Zachary was formed to try and prevent SCA from taking the lives of youth everywhere. Join in the fight today and stop the silent killer of SCA by scheduling your young athlete for an echocardiogram, a procedure that can detect any heart issue with 99% accuracy. For more information, visit www.livingforzachary.org. That's living, the number four, Zachary.org, and let your heart be heard. Along with Pete Nielsen, Brad Denton, Champion Sports Radio. Soon this one your way via CSR TV. 
Round two playoff game moves to inning number four, separated only by the straight number, the Dragons and the Hawks. 2-1 Carroll the lead, and here's Pete Nielsen with the call. Brian Bellamy steps in to start the fourth inning for the Dragons. Walk back in the first inning and stranded there. Down the count now, 0-2. David Rodriguez really settling in now. That era, and then he's been able to uh, retire. Brad, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7 out of 8. So he's done a real good job settling in. Yeah, because he really had a rocky start giving up the, the two hits, but more importantly, the three base on balls in the first inning. And that's when the Dragons plated their pair. This is outside, two and two. Bellamy, 262 on the season. We talked about how Coach Hughes kind of experimented with the outfield most of district play, but has really settled in with Ryan and right field as the playoff in the last couple of weeks. This is a ground ball right to Alec Davis. Let's throw over to Farley, one away here in the fourth inning. I remind you that tonight's a broadcast of Dragon Playoff Baseball heard on Champion Sports Radio, seen on CSR TV, brought to you in part by... Priority signs and graphics, custom building signs, pole signs, LED message centers, and large format graphics. We're your sign. Well, it's our top, top priority on the web at PrioritySignsAndGraphics.com. First pitch foul back a little. Oh, the breeze kicking up into yep. a gale. Yep. And again, blowing straight out. One on one, working through some camera issues. Sorry, folks. One on one count to Gonzalez, the third baseman. Flew out to right field in the first inning. Brad ending that rally with leaving the bases loaded in the first inning for the Dragons. Two on one count to Brendan. Oh, gets the outside corner. That time does David Gonzalez. Count goes to two and two. Senior Dragon third baseman hitting 320 batting in the eight hole. Third base is another position that's kind of been around Robin over there, and that's up and away for ball three. And Coach Hughes seems to have settled on settled in on Brandon Gonzalez, and I kind of asked him about it in the rain delay on Thursday night. I said, "So, what's going on over there?" He said, "Well, he had a great game against Arlington Heights in the last non-district game, and playing a hunch, and the hunch so far has been pretty darn good." Works a walk there, yeah, reaches good, base. Good patient at bat, and that brings up Billington. The fourth walk of the evening by David Rodriguez. And bet your dollar, David, young Stephen Billington is uh, putting that bunt down. Get that runner over in scoring position, give Drew Davis a chance to bring a run in. Billington taking playing shortstop since the injury to Hudson Sanchez has done a great job defensively. And he's not bunting, takes ball one. No, and offensively hitting just just shy of a buck seventy. Grounded out third to first. New stifter making the play back in the second inning. Billington's one of our favorite Carroll families. You know why? They're the ones that bring us the bunt cakes. <laughs> Two and oh. Yeah, yeah Stephen, a, a part of that rarity. One of triplets. Got the brother that's also on the uh, Carroll roster in Michael Billington, and then the sister who kept feeding us the bunt cakes at home games. <laughs> and runs the scoreboard. <laughs> it's a truly family affair over there at uh, Carroll Field, Dragon Field. 2-0 to Billington. Gets the outside corner, strike one. It's a nice pitch by David Rodriguez. The outside corner is... Uh, very friendly with our home plate umpire, but he's both doing it both ways, Brad, so you really can't say anything. Oh, that's a balk. Yep, sure is. Begon took off, and Michael realized that the last time, and too late, and then stopped and started and stopped, and it's a balk. <laughs> so now there's a runner in scoring position. With only one out, and uh, Mr. G Mr. Rodriguez has to forget about that, settle down, and, and get the batter. But 
opportunity here now for the Dragons. Outside corner gets the call two and two. David's starting to pound that outside corner for the Hawks and perhaps a adjustment needs to be made by the Dragons. Maybe start punching some out the right field. Two and two, runner on scoring position at second base. Here's the pitch. Well, trying to do just that, Peter. On cue. Just a little bit late that time for Billington, but uh, the right idea. What a perfect night it has turned out to be, and you mentioned it. That flag is blowing straight out. Two and two. Outside ball three, I think. Yeah, a little bit wide. (laughs) Didn't miss by much. (laughs) Got to protect that outside corner, Brad, with with, with the strike zone the way it's been. Big pitch right here in this game. Three, two. Popped him straight up. Second baseman Davis takes control, and he makes the play for the second out. The wind had a little bit of an effect on that one, but Alec able to hang in there and make the play. Top of the order, here comes Drew Davis, his third time to the plate already. 0 for 2 on the night. A fly ball to right on an outstanding play by Derek Mueller, and then a fly ball to center as well. 0 for 2, 314 coming in, 16 RBI. Mr. Davis is due. Swinging on the first pitch, taps it down the third baseline, foul. Well, I think there's still more people coming in this place. It is packed. Nice yeah. facility. If it wasn't so wet, we might have them out in the outfield, but you can't get out there because you'll sink. <laughs> I know West with baseball headlines of their own state champion, what, seven years ago, 2008. How about basketball headlines this year Amen. under Anthony Morgan? 6A state champions and a team that uh, five Division One kids on that starting lineup. They better win a state championship, right? What a great job by Anthony Morgan. Ground ball back up the middle. Nice play by Abelos to throw. Gets him by a step and a half of the third out of the inning. No hits, no runs, one man left on base. We're through three and a half here at the ballpark at Plano West. Dragons continue to lead 2-1. Back after these words. Tired of only spending time as a family huddled around the TV? Would you like to enjoy some culture with your loved ones without breaking the bank? Then let me introduce you to the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra. The GDYO provides music education and performance opportunities for musically talented youth, but this is no kid's concert. The GDYO comprises seven different ensembles made up of over 425 talented musicians ages 8 to 18, representing more than 50 communities in North Texas. You won't believe how amazing these ensembles sound until you hear it for yourself. So join them for one of their concerts at the Meyerson Symphony Center or Dallas City Performance Hall. For more information on how to make a donation, as well as a listing of upcoming GDYO concerts, visit gdyo.org. And if you know a talented young musician interested in an unbelievable experience, auditions take place in the spring. Connect with the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and at gdyo.org. Bottom of the fourth inning, ballpark at Plano West. Kevin Kramer goes back to work for the Dragons, and he'll face Evan Alexander. Looky here. Right at him. Absolutely made perfect by Larry Hughes and his staff. Alexander hit him a BB on the first pitch of the inning. One out. Alexander now two fly balls to right field. That one's not a fly ball. That's a line drive, but uh, nothing to show for it. Here comes big Michael Newsom. Top one of the third to the shortstop his first time. Two to one. Dragons lead. Bottom half of the fourth inning. And young man at the plate could change that in a hurry, BD. This home half of the fourth inning brought to you in part by Aruzzo's Italian Street Food. Fresh, fast Italian food where family, where friends go. Order online 
at Aruzo.com. That's Aruzo's. I ate there for lunch today. Good the choice. One, the one in Addison. Let me tell you something. It's good. It's good. That's a fly ball down the right field line. Here comes Bellamy. What a play. Ryan Bellamy like a cannon. On the run to the right field corner. It makes a running. One-handed catch going into the corner for the second half of the uh, second out of the inning. What a great play by yeah, Bellamy. Ryan got there in a hurry on the glove side and extended out there and flashed some leather on the dead run to Rob Newstifter. Almost overran it, BD. I don't know if you saw. He had a, almost pulled the glove back, but two outs now. And here, here's Zach Deloche triple back in the second and scored for the Hawks' only run. Not sure where that was, ball one. Tonight's broadcast also brought to you in part by Sports Med Chiropractic. Former Dragon pitcher and UTA Maverick, Dr. Ryan Robinson has a practice located on Main Street in Grapevine. It's Dragons helping Dragons get back in the game and keeping them there. SportsMedChiro.com. Counts at one and one. Whoa, fastball line down the right field line. Kevin Kramer in front and ahead of the count. Oh, one and two to Deloche. That triple Deloche had back in the second inning. Didn't even look like he swung hard. It just threw the hands, and the ball just exploded off the bat. Fastball just misses the outside corner. Count goes to two and two. Deloche a part of a mouth-watering pitching matchup tomorrow night right here in game two. Yep, you'll have Deloche and the, the star of the last series for the Dragons, Mr. Cantorino, Matthew Cantorino, pitches Thursday, pitches perfect. Four innings, no hits, five strikeouts, comes back and goes five and two-thirds on Saturday to get the win in the in the rubber game of that matchup. Good pitch that time by Kevin on the 2-2 just, just pitch. Just to tease you with some numbers, uh, this kiddo right here, Zachary Deloche, eight wins, two losses, the ERA, ERA at 1.25, and... The uh, Matthew Cantorino, the junior you mentioned, 9-1 and one on the year. Here's a fly ball tailing away from the center fielder, Cole, but he's under it. Makes the catch for the third out of the inning. Folks, it's been my pleasure. Nobody on, no, no hits, no runs, no errors. We're through four. Brad Denton will bring you the home the rest of the way. Carol Baseball on Champion Sports Radio TV. We'll be back after these words. On all the latest news about the teams you care about and know when your favorite games are on the air thanks to Champion Sports Radio social media. Either follow at Champion Sports on Twitter or like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash champion sports radio and you will know what time your game starts, who was named player of the week, or what your school's alumni are doing in college. That's on Twitter at Champion Sports and facebook.com slash champion sports radio. Your home for championship social media. In Command Broadcasting, a sports TV broadcasting and marketing company. In Command Broadcasting provides a wide array of turnkey video production and streaming services. In Command services include filming of sporting events, season highlights, school graduations, corporate infomercials, and documentaries. In Command streams your sporting event or company function over the internet live or on demand. Call 972-851-7888 to raise the energy of your next event. In Command Broadcasting, 972-851-7888. Take me out to the ball game. Top half of the fifth inning here at the ballpark at Plano West. Dragons lead two to one. Two, three, and four coming to the plate to face David Rodriguez. Tell you all about it. Here's the voice of Carroll Baseball, Brad Denton. Thank you, Pete Nielsen. Right now, the total board reading Carroll two runs on two dragon hits, no errors, and Carroll has left five men on base. Hebron has answered with one run on only one Hawk hit. Hebron committing the game's only miscue, and the Hawks have left nobody on base. Here's the first pitch to Combs from... Rodriguez and Casey swings right through the tailing fastball. And it's strike one. Casey thus far, a uh, ringing base hit up through the box and 
the first inning, came around to score, struck out in the second. Called strike two, nothing in two to Casey to a ever increasingly settled David Rodriguez, senior right hander, a move in in the offseason from Coppell. <laughs> Can you imagine if Kendall Clark had this guy too? <laughs> He's got enough. <laughs> Joking with uh, his brother, who is the head coach over here at West, and yeah, he, he's got enough. Check swing, strikeout, Casey Combs. Second strikeout of the evening for David Rodriguez. Bottom half, excuse me, top half of the inning. Brought to our friends by Alcourt Marketing. Thank you to Ben Allen and the Allen family. To find out more, visit them at alcourtmarketing.com. Alcorp Marketing. Here's center fielder Eric Cole. Nothing for two on the night. Grounded out to first baseman Jarrett Farley. Unassisted in the first and flew out to to Alexander in left field in the third inning of play. Cole again ticketed collegiately to play at the University of Arkansas. Now one and one as Rodriguez takes a little off of it and leaves the changeup way wide. Combs struck out, here's Cole to be followed by catcher Nick Motley. Oh, good, good curveball. Very nice curveball by Rodriguez. Painted. Nothing that Eric could do but just watch that thing from way out there come way in here for a cold strike. No Painted question. Painted the outside corner with that one. That's perfect. Perfect pitch. Reaching, hitting it the other way. New stiffer charges. New stiffer across the body. Ah, Great safe. speed. Oh, no. By half step. <laughs> that. Wow. I am not so sure, but the only one that matters is the guy at first base, and Larry Hughes isn't so sure either. He just did a U-turn. I think he's looking for the TV monitor to see if he can check replay. <laughs> but, wow, bang, bang, play. What a nice job by Newsom. Was it ever. Here's Nick Motley. I'm sure that Mr. and Mrs. King, the grandparents in post, are tuning in this evening. Glad to have them aboard. So if they're safe and sound with all this crazy weather, we've had a little looper. In the air Avalos. left field. I'm sorry. Well, I that forgot. Is, that <laughs> is Avalos, and you had it right on the money. Josh Avalos drifts back from his shortstop position to make the play after Nick Motley is fisted out by David Rodriguez. Dragons go one, two, and three, top of five. We continue from Plano West with our count Carroll 2 and Hebron 1. I'm in a place for everything. As you'll see, projections for the next quarter are... He shoots, he scores! Two points for team middle management. The office is not one of them. Jack, can I see you in my office? No pouting, it's your ball, let's see what you got. But Whirly Ball is. For corporate events, team building, and private parties, Whirly Ball in Hearst and Plano is electric fun. Test your skills on the arcade games. Zip around in your Whirly Bug for a Whirly Ball competition. Or play the most affordable laser tag in the city. Learn more at whirlyball.info. If you're a basketball parent or coach, you need StatGeek, the simplest way to keep stats ever created. Our easy-to-use iPad app turns anyone into a professional statistician, and all they have to do is simply follow the ball, produce full and accurate box scores and play-by-play -play reports, send accurate stats out to your fans, media, or recruiters. It's sports statistic collection redefined. StatGeek is available right now in the iPad App Store for just $4.99, and there are team fundraising opportunities available as well on the web at StatGeek.com. StatGeek, keep your eye on the ball. Bottom half of the fifth inning here at Plano West. Dragons continue to lead 2-1. to one. Kevin Cream has retired the last nine Hawks in a row. Coming into plate five, six, and seven in the batting order. Here's Ross Lau. Here's Brad Denton. Try to breaking that string is Lau. Lau, a strikeout victim, his only previous trip in the second inning. He'll lead off the home half of the fifth year. He'll look at Kramer's first offering. Fastball at the corner and on the knee in a call to strike one. Well, we talked about Rodriguez getting locked in. <laughs> Kevin. I think Kevin's got locked in, too. Yeah, the difference in this ball game is 
one base hit. I mean, Carroll has two safeties, Hebron with one, but it really comes down to those three first inning walks off, yep. uh, given up by Rodriguez. Pop straight up that time. If they're going to stay in play, Motley talking. Here's Gonzalez. Here's Kramer. <laughs> Taking a look around and said, hey, what is this, fellas? I got it. You take it. I'll take it. And he does take it a step or two into foul territory. I think that ball caught Kevin Kramer. <laughs> it was a surprise part. <laughs> he was looking at Gonzalez on his right, Motley on his left. <laughs> And somebody take charge, nobody did, and he happened to be in the right place at the right time, threw a glove up, and a horse hide landed in it. And, and the best look was Nick Motley saying, hey, thanks. <laughs> One out. Here's Farley. His RBI in the second inning, driving home Hebron's only run. One out, nobody on. Kramer having his way in a big way tonight. Over the top with a called strike one. And you know, you you know, Brad, you, you know what you're going to get with Kevin Kramer every time he goes out there. He may not have his best stuff every time, but man, oh man, is he going to battle and keep your team in the game as long as he possibly can? Yeah, and survives by his location. That's right, location, location, location. Jarrett Farley, a good sized youngster, six one two thirty five, already a two year starter in the Hebron Hawks. Uh, Offensive line in the falls and looking forward to a, a senior season, locking in there an offensive guard. Two and two the count to Jarrett. Late swing, foul out of play, right side. Brad, let's see if I can get you some scores from the, especially that Flower Mound game over there playing. Gillis Trinity game moved over to the mound because of the field trend at Trinity just not dry enough to play. What are they going to do tomorrow when it rains all day? Where are they going to go then? Trinity, one of the real surprises in North Central Texas. They finished the regular year 20 and 4. And battled through their first round series. There's Farley in the air right side. That's Bellamy making the play in right field. Make that 11 in a row for Mr. Kramer. And Alec Davis striding his way to the plate. Uh, or is it maybe a pinch hitter? That is a pinch hitter, B. Michael Lloyd. It is Michael Lloyd. See if I can help you out real quick, partner. Lloyd on the season. Where's uh, number three? Doesn't have a batting average. I wonder if he's a JV call up. Working from the left side, trying to break this 11 straight string. Good swing, but uh, a miss from Michael Lloyd. Davis, 246 on the season, 0 for 1 today. So, Coach, you, uh, excuse me, Coach Stone trying to shake things up a little bit. Curveball. Nice pitch. pitch. What do you think about Hebron Delos with the uh, yes. crushing the triple? Newstifter went the other way, maybe robbed in the right field corner by Ryan Bellamy. Other than that, not hit all that well. You don't see that. Cool. Check swing. Third baseman, Brendan Gonzalez, right. fires across and unable to dig it out on a short hop is Casey Combs. So that'll go E5 in my book. A rather strange check swing from the left handed hitter and it dribbled its way to Gonzalez, who couldn't come up and make the proper throw. And perhaps the reason that he's inserted in the lineup, you saw the speed getting down the line, and I think that surprised Brandon Gonzalez a little bit and double hitched on the throw and ended up throwing it down the dirt. And Casey Combs usually comes up with everything. We're not able to come up with that one. Here's Lane Moore fed him a full diet of breaking balls. Previous at bat, he ended up a strikeout victim. It is good speed, Lloyd, at first base. There's that curveball, and there's that wave from Moore. Have this opportunity to shout out to Classic Silks and Accents, offering fine custom silk florals, window treatments, and accessories for residential and commercial interiors. Proudly serving their customers for 15 years, call Diana at 817-821-4756. Peter, make you wish Kevin Kramer pulls the string one more time. 
to Moore. Yep, I agree Here with comes you. comes fastball, he'll be trying to get Moore to chase. It's not going to be anywhere near the strike zone. Do you have a score for you, Brad, from the head cheese of Champion Sports Radio, Thomas Lee, who's overdoing Flower Mound Trinity. Jaguars lead 5-1. End of five innings over at a game that was moved to uh, the mound because the field at Trinity was just simply too wet. I'll have to make a decision on what they're going to do tomorrow, I would guess. Well, didn't I see Flower Mound trying to become the first repeat in the top classification since back in 2003? Yeah. So the baseball is just so balanced, Brad. And, you know, this will be the first 6A champion we've had. And a Flower Mound bunch, they're good, but they are not as pit, pitch pitcher-friendly as they were last year. What, three Division One kids all pitching as freshmen in the Big 12? Seth Jordan, B.J. Myers, and young man by the name of B.J. Johnson, who has closed a bunch of games for the Longhorns down in Texas, down in Austin this year. They were special. Ask Larry Hughes. Yeah, we'll see what Coach Wallace can do because he's on the playoff path and lighting it up again in 15. <laughs> and he is in playoff mode, too. Got to spend some time with him this weekend, and he is in playoff mode. Kramer working from the stretch now called timeout by the batter in lane more. We're in the top of the fifth inning. We're at Plano West. Game one of the best of three series, round two, Class 6A schoolboy baseball. And Carroll has the lead by the narrowest of margin at 2-1 over the Hebron Hawks. Oh, and Moore lays off of that, and it's ball two. <laughs> Kevin Kramer looks in the home plate umpire like, really? <laughs> it's been a strike all night, sir. Three and one. Two balls and a strike, Lane Moore. Digging in, or rather three balls and a strike, beg your pardon. And there's the pitch, swing and a miss by Moore. Swung right through the fastball that time. He, Brad, he threw him a fastball, kind of surprising, but when you're down the count, you kind of have to. Well, somehow I think it's kind of a big pitch in this game. Yes, sir. Full count to Lane Moore, right hand hitting Hawk catcher. There's Runner the goes, pitch. strike three. Oh, strike three. Well, no runs. No Hebron hits, no Dragon errors, and one man left on base. Middle of inning number five at Plano West. We continue at South Lake Carroll 2 and Hebron 1. Harold Early said that when they study our civilization 2,000 years from now, there will only be three things that Americans will be known for. The Constitution, baseball, and jazz music. GDYO's Jazz Institute provides young musicians in North Texas the opportunity to learn what it means to be a jazz musician through weekly technique classes and combo rehearsals with professional jazz musicians. From the first note to the final round of applause, GDYO Jazz Institute concerts will amaze and delight both hardcore jazz cats and new fans alike. Learn more about the truly original American art form through the GDYO Jazz Institute online at gdyo.org jazz. Point of Origin Design is your one-stop shop for all your apparel, promotional, event, or team uniform needs. Point of Origin Design is a full-service design and logo creation company that offers a wide variety of imprintable and embroidered products. With competitive pricing and quality work, you can't go wrong with Point of Origin Design. It's always best to start at the right point, so visit them online at pointoforidgindesign.com. Let them help you plan your next promotional item or design your next t-shirt. That's online at pointoforidgindesign.com. Top half of the sixth inning here at Plain OS. This half inning brought to you by Paragon Design Group. Designing incredible custom homes and remodels for the past 23 years. Call Robert at 817-946-5933 and let him show you how they can serve your residential designs needs. Paragon Design Group. Carol. In the top of inning number six, we'll see Zach Farrar, the designated hitter, and the hot dragon hitter at 448 and average. One for two tonight with an RBI. And that uh, base hit to drive in a run in that first inning was a singing line drive. Mm -hmm. Rodriguez. 
Upstairs, two balls and a strike to Farrar. Stays out of the strike zone. Peter, have these guys won some ball games? Larry Hughes, 29th year overall, head coach, 569 wins and counting. 22nd year for Hebron Steve Stone. And he has taken dead aim tonight at a win number 390. Well, like I said before, without the abacus, almost 1,000. A little short. <laughs> yeah, these guys have seen more baseball than uh, lots of folks. And it's called strike three on Zachary Farrar. And I'm not sure he's agreeing with the call, but like a gentleman, grabs hold of the barrel of the bat and saunters his way back to the Dragon dugout. Well, I think both sides are a little bit unhappy currently with the situation behind the dish, but you got to fight through it, partner. Strikeout number three for David. Upstairs to Kadena. Ross, the sophomore hitting 333. 0 for 1 officially. Walked in the first, struck out in the third inning. Here's Rodriguez up in the air to right field. Here's Mueller. And he catches everything within radar range out there. And Derek has no problem finding this one and making the play. As our public address announcer made this big crowd aware, now batting for the Carroll Dragons is the right fielder. He's Ryan Bellamy. Six in a row now for Rodriguez. After the walk to Gonzalez, has done a good job of, back in the fourth inning, done a good job of shutting things down. Up and in to Bellamy, ball one. Yeah, and since the Dragons played it two in the first, Hebron answered with one in the bottom of the second. Uh, since then, a string of zeros across the scoreboard. Bellamy with the RBI walk back in the first. The difference in the game right now. Sure enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, David Rodriguez has to wonder where was that. So does Pete Nielsen. Yeah. <laughs> Heavens. Two balls and a strike to Bellamy. Two out, nobody on. Dragons up 2-1, top of the that, six that, inning. That was high. We'll give him that one. Again, new stiff for third base. Josh Avalos, the Hawks shortstop. Alec Davis at second base. And Jarrett Farley. Boy, it makes it hard to hit, Brad, when you don't know if it's a strike or a ball. It, it just does. Playing first base. There's the pitch. That's upstairs. And for a second time tonight, Bellamy with a patient at bat, resulting in a walk. And that'll bring up Brendan Gonzalez. Walk number five on the night for David Rodriguez. Only came into the season, uh, into the game. Boy, not very many. 23 and 58 innings. So I, I bet you if you would go back and look through the line scores, this might be the most on the season. Yeah, Pete, at 23 again in 58 innings. And meanwhile, striking out 73. Not finishing now. Maybe a little yeah, bit frustrated. Almost standing up. And well, going here's Steve Stone going to make his way out to talk to his senior right-hander. Brad, while well, we have this opportunity, another shout-out to our favorite barbecue place in the Metroplex. That's Meet You Anywhere Barbecue. Been great fun, isn't it? Go to any, go to Meet You Bar, <laughs> go to Meet You Anywhere Barbecue and Grapevine. That's right, Grapevine. For the best barbecue in North Texas, online at MeetYouAnywhere.com. That's M-E-A-T, the letter U. dot com. You can go there tomorrow, get you a little barbecue sandwich, and walk downtown and. Main Street Day is going on in Grapevine this weekend, and always a fun time. And get you some, get your belly full, and then walk around and do some people watching. Peter, I did a little homework today, and that's always dangerous. Oh boy, homework research. I still call it homework. We were th I was thinking about Mr. And Mrs. King and Post. Okay. Out there in the Lubbock area. Well, I found out that Post is county seat, Garza County. Oh. There's runner a runner, goes. there's a throw, and that's a dandy throw. And that's a uh, throw now. Bellamy is caught stealing on a bullet delivered down there by Lane Moore. And a tag that was applied, I think, twice by Josh Avalos. 
No runs in the top of the six for the Carroll Dragons. And no hits and nobody left on base. Two to one. Dragons have the Hawks through the middle of the sixth inning. Boost and Exposure want to reach local community-minded folks with information about your business. Join the Champion Sports Radio team and advertise during these games. In the last four years, Champion Sports Radio has broadcast over 600 games for more than 3.5 million listeners. And Champion Sports Radio wants to help you use major high school sports to reach thousands of local fans right in your community. It's also a way for your business to give back to the community by helping all these well-deserving student-athletes get some recognition for their accomplishments. The cost simply can't be beat for the effect it will have. You get a lot of bang for your buck. And best of all, it provides an opportunity for the best advertisement of all, word of mouth. To secure your prime commercial spot during the broadcast, contact Thomas Lee at Champion Sports Radio by phone at 972-741-0334. That's 972-741-0334 or online at championsportsradio.com. Champion Sports Radio, your home for championship broadcast. Bottom six here. Plano West. Dragons continue to lead. Josh Abelos at the plate for the Hebron Hawks. Here's Brad. Kramer to Abelos and just up and away. Ball one. Defensive substitution for Carroll at third base. Spelling Brendan Gonzalez at the hot corner. You know, where's number seven and played very well there. Soren Krug. Called strike on Abelos. You mentioned it was sort of a a juggling act at third base, but whoever's been done there's been, been done a very credible job. On the ground right side, Drew Davis gobbles up the Abalos ground balls and throws to Casey Combs, four to three. And the leadoff hitter retired. Grounding out Drew Davis to Casey Combs. Talk about a young man that handles the position. Wow. Drew Davis, uh, he's special. And that's the only word you can use for Drew. He is that good, BD. Yeah, that's a gold glove on the left hand out there. The second sacker for the Carroll Dragons has had a terrific senior year. Top of the order. Here's Mueller. He even needs to make some hay right now. Called strike one on Derek, third base coach, his 15th year head coach. And Steve Stone down first base. Why long time first assistant Jimmy Farley. Here's Kramer kicking and dealing. On the ground, going to scoot through and base hit for Derek Mueller. Nice diving effort by Drew Davis. I thought for a minute he may come up with that one, and he just did miss it. And with the speed that Mueller has, I don't know if he's going to throw him out, but what an effort that time by Davis. Runner with outstanding speed now, second hit for the Hawks in the night. Mueller on first, and here's Alexander, who's hit two BBs to right field with nothing to show for it. 17 bags stolen by Derek Mueller in 19 attempts. And Evan Alexander stands in left side, calls a timeout, trying to get Kevin Kramer out of his routine. Even trailing two to one, bottom of the sixth inning. Alexander flew out to center field, did the same. This one on a line last at bat to right fielder Ryan Bellamy. And you'll know in the scouting report that the Dragons know all about those 17 stolen bases of Derek Mueller. Mueller scrambling back in. Natives getting restless. Yeah, this is a big moment in this ball game right here. Hebron has the meat of the lineup coming up. One man out, one man on, trailing by one. And the Kramer pitch to Alexander over the top, foul out of play behind us. Boy, congratulations to that staff here at Plano West. This field in terrific shape. You mentioned artificial turf on the infield only. But head coach Kevin Clark, assistant Scott Smith, and their staff, not the place ready to go despite the heavy rains. Nothing doing right there. Wide with the pitch to Alexander is Kevin Kramer. And, of course, another Scott Smith has taken over here is the head football yes, coach, our friend Scott Smith. Had to shake uh, the, uh, the uh, opportunity Saturday night at a function to shake his hand, hug his neck, and say welcome home. And he is glad to be home. Said he had a terrific run at Lake Highlands, a wonderful place to be, but 
When this phone rang, he was going to answer it, and he did. BD Cole Ramage getting loose down the right field line, left field line for the Dragons. 1-1 one, one the count to Alexander, curveball running, Mueller throwing, Motley sink. Derek Mueller at second base. Boy, uh, picked a good pitch to run on, did Derek Mueller. The sweeping curveball, Motley came out of there gunning and threw a beauty of a throw down, but Mueller got there. Wow, what a throw. <laughs> that would have been bang, bang if Billington could have come up with it, but uh, he was not able to. So now running in, runner in scoring position with one out. What speed, huh? What yeah. an advantage that not, is. Not many run on Nick Motley. And as I mentioned, Derek Mueller and Steve Stone, they picked the perfect pitch to run on. Curveball that just doesn't get there quite as quickly as old number one. Here's Alexander. One ball, two strikes to Evan. 1-1 one, one game. A hawk in scoring position. Over the Got top, him. good pitch. Swinging, missing is Alexander. Great big strikeout. Knocks by one, Kevin Kramer. Only the fourth of the day for Kramer, but it couldn't have come at a bigger time now. Well, hitch him up your pants time for the Hawks. And here's, Here, here's a thought. Go ahead, share. Oh, here comes the here comes our pitching coach. That's and Larry Vukin. Larry Vukin and, and Brad, <laughs> is there any Four. way? Is yeah. there any way? Putting the tying run, the, actually the go-ahead run on base, but yeah, you got to be careful what you ask for because that's Zach Deloche is on deck, so I think you go after him. We saw Coach Hughes, remember, in district play, walk probably the best player in the state of Texas, yeah. and it backfired, so we'll see. Trent Clark at, at Richland, wonderful player. And I promise Trent Clark will go high in the draft next month. If that kid's not a first-round yeah. draft pick, I don't know what it's one special. is. And, and well, this gonna... kid's special. This is a really fine moment right here. Sure Kevin would. Kramer working against Michael Newstifter with the tying run in the person of Derek Mueller at second base. Yeah, circle this at bat, my friend. Two at bat, two outs, bottom of the sixth inning. The Mueller single to lead off this inning, only Hebron's second hit of the night. But still right square in the middle of this one, trailing two to one. That Mueller single broke up 13 in a row for, for Kramer. Kramer staring down Michael Newstifter with his 41 RBI. There's the pitch, fastball down low. Newstifter lays off, ball one. Maybe Vukin said if you're going to pitch to him, you better be doggone careful and keep it down. Yeah, you got to be careful because the guy standing on deck is batting 457. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Newstifter, a rather measly 427 average. <laughs> But the There's power the pitch curveball oh, hit in the air oh, and out of play oh, right oh, side. Oh, oh. What you thinking? Michael says, I, I wish I'd, I want that one again. <laughs> I think if, if Kevin won't throw that one again, that's what I'm thinking. That one hung. Great speed at second base in Derek Mueller. If you're going to come inside on New Sifter, you're going to have to really get inside because he's got quick hands, Brad. Really quick hands. Big wind blowing out. Kramer from the belt. Delivers and laying off the breaking ball, low and away is New Stifter. What a play by Motley, huh? Keeping that in front. Now just slides out. We there. take it for granted. Just as smooth uh, as we just, that classic TV shade. Yeah, we just take it for granted, and he just does it over and over again. And we, I'm sorry, we just don't say it enough. What a nice job there by Nick Motley. Here's Kevin Kramer. He'll set, he'll kick, he'll deliver. Blowing away and being very, very careful. And who can blame him to new stifters? But that is the go-ahead run that's going to be put on first base with one more out of the strike zone. Mm -hmm. And Deloche loosening in the on-deck circle. And that's a young man that tripled and hit a BB to center field the second time. 3-1 pitch, curveball hit in the air. Going to be... Out of play, Motley gives it a good look and a good chase, but runs out of room. Threw him a 3 1 changeup. <laughs> My word. Oh. And had him off balance. Coach Vulcan, what? Wow. Three and two. Tells you what kind of hitter this kid is to even get a bat on that pitch. To New Stifter. Kramer, the payoff pitch. I will take a breath as he 
Fakes a move to second base. Leading off that second base, base sack is uh, Derek Mueller. Here's the pitch. Check swing. They'll go. Strike three. Inning over. Huge. 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 Wow. No even runs on one hit. No dragon errors and one man left on base. Uh, through five and a half from Plano West, we continue the Dragons lead over the Hebron Hawks at two to one. On all the latest news about the teams you care about and know when your favorite games are on the air thanks to Champion Sports Radio social media. Either follow at Champion Sports on Twitter or like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Champion Sports Radio and you will know what time your game starts, who was named player of the week, or what your school's alumni are doing in college. That's on Twitter at Champion Sports and Facebook.com slash Champion Sports Radio. Your home for championship social media. In Command Broadcasting, a sports TV broadcasting and marketing company. In Command Broadcasting provides a wide array of turnkey video production and streaming services. In Command services include filming of sporting events, season highlights, school graduations, corporate infomercials, and documentaries. In Command streams your sporting event or company function over the internet live or on demand. Call 972-851-7888 to raise the energy of your next event. In Command Broadcasting, 972-851-7888. Well, BD, what a job by Kevin Kramer to get out of that mess, taking care of third and fourth hitter in that line, second and third batter in that Hebron lineup. Top half of the seven, still 2-1. Here's BD. Well, it'll be 8-9 and one off of the Dragon lineup card. Soren Krug now in at third base, makes his initial plate appearance. I'll open up the seventh inning of play ball game. It's moved very quickly. Oh, you just jinxed us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Pete, I'm a journalist. I got to tell the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. This has got extra innings and 17 innings written all over it now. <laughs> <laughs> but when it's good baseball, who cares, right? Where are we? One-one. The count. To David Rodriguez has pitched a very handsome baseball game. And the batter is Soren Krug, and he'll hit it in the air and out of play. Be interesting to see what Coach Hughes decides to do here in the seventh inning. He had young man warming up in Ramage, and he's been lights out as the closer, but I, I think he sent Kramer back out there. I don't know about you. Rodriguez way upstairs, three balls and two strikes to lead off hitting third baseman Soren Krug. No opinion on that, huh? <laughs> um, no, I'm going to go back out there with Kramer. Oh, he's good. been, uh, yeah. you know, he's given up two hits on the oh. night, at least get him started on the inning, but. Cole Ramage has been uh, very nice in the late inning save situations this year. I mean, quite possibly the the best Hebron Hawk hitter leading off the inning. Be nice if you, for the Dragon you can get a a couple insurance runs here, and and Krug does his job reaching base with a leadoff walk. Nicely done. Walk number six, BD. Yeah, and that, and that is such a big such a big factor in this game is. Because Rodriguez, other than unable to find the strike zone on occasion. Avers will now bat Sam Avers for Billington. Brad, what we have at this opportunity is Coach Stone is taking, making his way to the mound. A couple shout-outs to nothing but cakes again. So yummy you wish they didn't have a hole in them. Stop by their location at South Lake Town Square or call them at 817 416 6228, and also another shout out to our friends at Heritage Homes, building fine custom homes in South Lake and surrounding communities. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Well, David Rodriguez will close out the books with six plus innings of work, and you can give me the details on that. Moving in from third base for the Hawks now, towing the rubber with the tune up tosses is Michael Newstifter. And that's Austin Stone checking into the ball game, spelling new stifter at third base. So uh, Rodriguez goes six, six complete, 
the runner on first base is his responsibility. Two hits, three strikeouts, five, six base on balls, two runs. Both of them are earned. Big Michael Newsifter steps up, Brad, and I was looking over here in between innings to see, you know. Hadn't so pitched that much. 17 and two-thirds innings. Uh, ten, uh, ten games he's got in. He's pitched. He started two of them. Record of 4-0. and oh, Allows 14 runs. Ten of them earned eight walks, 22 strikeouts. An ERA of 3.96. Michael Newsifter. Well, he's going to look at Sam Avers, pinch hitting for Stephen Billington in that uh, nine hole, and then they go to the top of the lineup card to face the likes of Drew Davis and Casey Combs. You said Austin Stone is the third, third baseman. baseman. And that, of course, is Ken, the head coach, Steve Ken. Uh, Steve. Yeah, the youngest of the uh, Stone family. Well, let me see. I beg your pardon. Now, Austin Stone is going to play second base, and Alec Davis moves from second to third base. Well, break out that pink pearl eraser. <laughs> That's why we bring it, Peter. <laughs> Very interesting. You make those moves, and you know Avers with his speed, Brad, I would bet you a dollar to donuts he's going to be bunting. So we'll see yeah, here. I would be too. And now Coach Stone comes back out, and that'll count as an, a, a, a visit. So so make a, Avers here in the seventh inning as a pinch hitter. We've seen, we've seen Sam a lot as a pinch runner. Never hasn't got very many chances at the plate. Avers on the season, only 17, excuse me, check that, 10 at-bats, BD. Well, he's three for 10. From the left side, here's Avers against Newstifter. There's the bunt, very nicely done. Newstifter bounces off, fires to first baseman Farley, and a very nice job by Avers, took him one pitch to do it. Did his job, got the bunt down. Nice job by Newstifter to make the sure out might have had a chance at, at, at court, soaring at second, but no. Runner in scoring position here. How big of a run is that standing at second base and Soren Krug, top of the order for the Dragons? Drew Davis will try to pick him up. Senior second baseman hitting 314 into this round two of the playoffs. Here's New Stifter. Angular curveball. Just off the mark. Ball one. And Hebron fans saying, come on, Blue. Just missed. <laughs> Playing the top of the seventh inning. Carroll's lead at two to one. Dragons looking to extend it. Good curveball, Michael Newstifter, and a called strike one on Davis. Big man comes right over the top, Brad. He's a big kid, and when he's done with that st- that big front step, it's almost like he's right on top of the batter, and lots of movement on that curveball there. One to one. Six foot and three inches on Newstifter. Good swing, fastball, blew it by Drew Davis. Now 6'3", 210 for New Stifter. Signed early before could, he even started his junior year in high school with Oklahoma State, committing could, to the Cowboy baseball program. Could not catch up with that fastball. Drew, bat, Drew's going to battle, though. One and two, the count to the Dean of the D's. Drew Davis lays off the curveball. Nice block there by Lane Moore, the Hawk catcher. Little conversation now between Moore and New Stifter. And again, be with us tomorrow night, game two, same place, same station, same start time, 7.30. As Cantorino will get the ball for the Dragons, and Deloche, Zach Deloche, will get baseball for the Hebron Hawks. Two really good right-handers, as if we haven't seen the same tonight. New stifter to Davis. Curveball swung in the air left field. Rounding got third hold and holding him up right there. A Hit it too bullet good. delivered. And it got to Evan Alexander in left field very quickly. And that made Soren Krug throw on the brakes on the third base bag. But that's a big old base hit right there. Seventh inning delivered by Drew Davis. Runners at the corner. Just got on out to Evan Alexander too fast. No chance for for Krug to score. What a clutch hit, though, for the young man and Drew Davis, now one for four tonight, and Steve Stone now brings the infield in, and that makes a 361 hitter a 561 hitter, buddy. So here is Casey Combs already with a hit on the night. Combs officially that 361 hitter. Two strikeouts tonight and a base hit. 
scored the first run on the first inning for the Dragons. New Stifter working from the stretch. Misses wide, ball one. That's Davis at first base, Soren Krug is at third base. Well, that ball's a foot outside. I don't know what they're yelling yeah, at. That one either. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some questionable ones, not that one. Huge at bat here for Casey Combs. Here's New Stifter over the top curveball and a beauty. Called strike one on Combs. Every pitch. Boy, the home plate umpire, he's making half of the people happy, <laughs> half of the people sad. He, somebody better escort him out of the building afterwards because he's got a bunch of people not very happy with him right now. A ball and a strike to Combs. That one's same wide as the opening pitch. Two balls and a strike. Infield in, Brad, that also takes away the double play opportunity. So kind of weird, you know, I, I can't blame Coach Stone. You've got to cut that run no, off. you got to cut it off. You're already trailing by one, have trailed by one since the second inning. Runs at a premium. Swing and a miss. Good pitch, new stifter. And an empty hack from Casey Combs. And in the outside corner that time, what a, that was a tough pitch to hit. And Casey's got to fight that one off the right field. Two balls and two strikes to number two, Casey Combs. One out, top seven. Two one, Dragons. On a line right there, Austin Stone. Oh, what a That's play a by nice Farley. Dig by Farley. Tried to go, did Austin Stone, the second baseman, after fielding the line drive off of the bat of Combs, tried to go quickly to Jared Farley and threw that thing like a hand grenade, but in the ground and Farley with a looky what I found on the backhand pickup on the short hop. Couldn't have hit it any harder if you're Casey Combs and just almost knocked Austin Stone over, but two out now. And, boy, boy, if you want somebody to play it, if you're a Dragon fan, this is the guy you want. Why not Eric Cole, senior center fielder? He's two due. Down. He is due. Cole tonight, nothing for three. New stifter out and away. Don't forget that, uh, as you mentioned, maybe Hebron's best hitter, Zach Deloche, leads off for the Hawks in the home half of the seventh. Davis leads at first, not going. New stifter in the air off the bat of Cole. Deloche drifting. Straight away center field, squeezes it for out number three. Nothing across in the seventh for the Dragons. On one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. To the home half of the seven, our count continues. The Carroll Dragons two, and the Hebron Hawks one. No, we have a problem until it's too late. On April 2nd, 2009, Zachary Schroff, a 16-year-old sophomore offensive lineman, died of sudden cardiac arrest, the number one cause of death among student athletes. Like so many SCA victims, Zach had no heart issues, nor did anyone in his family. If Zach had an echocardiogram, he might have been able to avoid suffering a condition that takes 10,000 of our youth each year. In his memory, Living for Zachary was formed to try and prevent SCA from taking the lives of youth everywhere. Join in the fight today and stop the silent killer of SCA by scheduling your young athlete for an echocardiogram, a procedure that can detect any heart issue with 99% accuracy. For more information, visit www.livingforzachary.org. That's living, the number four, Zachary.org, and let your heart be heard. We go to the bottom half of the seventh here at the ballpark at Plano West. The Dragons continue to lead 2-1, 4, 5, and 6 coming to the plate for the Hawks. Here's Bradley. The four of that 4, 5, 6 combination is Zach Deloche, sophomore center fielder. Hitter extraordinaire with an average at 457, one home run. Already a triple tonight. He'll work against Kevin Kramer who has come right back out for the seventh inning and starts out to Lowe's with a good curveball. Low on the outside corner, called strike one. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. 
Deloach from the line kicks and deals to Motley hit on the ground and all of a sudden Kevin Kramer way up on Zachary Deloach. No balls and two strikes. Deloach one for two. The triple in the second scored the Hawks only run and flew out to center fielder Eric Cole in the fourth inning. Kramer low and away ball one. Hebron playing the low straight away everywhere and not particularly deep, particularly in center field. There's the pitch other way. Keeps it the bat at bat alive. Knocking that one wide down the third base side other way foul out of play. Final over at Flower Mound. Flower Mound takes care of Trinity in game one, five to two. So the Jaguars go up one nothing. Kramer the pitch, missing with the curveball. Two balls, two strikes. Boy, if you're Kevin Kramer, you know you have to be careful with Zach Delos. Mm -hmm. He could deposit one out of here in a hurry with this wind. Or even without the wind. Pitch way wide. Count will go full. Good patient at bat by Zach Delos was down on the count, nothing at two. And now three balls, two strikes. 457 a homer and 20 RBIs. There's the pitch low. Ball four. Lead off walk. Zach Delos, very patient. Just a special, special baseball player. First walk of the evening by Kevin Kramer. Throw a ground ball here. Come right back, you throw a ground ball here, and there's no arms. Well, it's designated hitter Ross Lau. Senior, 292 the average, stands at 510. Rather stocky at 195. Brad, don't forget, Deloche has 17 stolen bases as well. The tying run to first base, nobody out, bottom of the seventh. There, there goes, goes Deloche. Motley will throw way high, and Deloche will slide into second with a pop up slide and a stolen base. And Nick's throw kind of sailed on him. Don't know if Nick's throw was on the money. It would have beaten Delos. Got a great jump. A ball and nothing to Lau. Ross on the night. Nothing for two. There's the curveball. Swing and a miss. And a dandy. Yanking on the string there, Kevin Kramer. Yeah, you might think they might square up Lau and bunt with nobody out and get that tying run to third base. See if that happens here. Lau will back out and one more time look down to third base coach Steve Stone. From the stretch, Kevin Kramer. To Ross Lau, swinging away, foul out of play over the top of us. Now a ball, two strikes. The lows, the tying run at second base. 2 1 our score. There's got the pitch him. Leg. Got him on the call, strike three. Ross Lau. That's a strike. Has a look, and he's out number one. A little surprised Coach Stone didn't try to move and get that time run over there. I know you are. Uh, and I don't know what these people are yelling about. That's a strike. Here's Jared Farley, junior first baseman. Nothing for two with an RBI. Farley will be followed by Alec Davis now playing third base. Here's Kramer. Farley looks at strike one. Kramer with just one walk on the night, and he stands at second base. There's the pitch. Farley in the air. 
Bellamy has a beat out number two right fielder Ryan Bellamy. And not have to move very much at all. Once again, Larry uses defense of everybody being shallow comes into play. And up to Alec Davis. Steve Stone will talk to Mr. Davis, his senior. The infielder who played the first six innings of this game at second base and switched over to third last frame when Newstifter came on to pitch the seventh for Hebron. Big at bat for Alec Davis hitting 246 on the year. Nothing for two tonight. Kramer trying to close it out and go the distance. There's the pitch to Davis. Curveball well wide. Ball one. Should Davis reach, Lane Moore is on deck. Outfield very, very shallow. Shallower than normal. Kramer swinging, fouling into the net. Davis won one the count. Davis has had one at bat. He line drive to the second baseman. Drew Davis, Micah Lloyd batted for him in the fifth inning, reached on an error, but just the one at bat so far for Alec. 246 on the season. One RBI so far in the year. How big would number two be for the Hebron Hawks? <laughs> Amen. Kramer to Davis. Wow. Swinging late. Right side out of play foul. Way up, up in the zone. He read the Carroll Dragon fans on their feet. As is Brad Denton. Down to the last strike with Alec Davis staring down Kevin Kramer. The count of ball, one ball and two strikes. Tying run in second base. Kevin Kramer working from the stretch. Delivers. Swing and a miss ball game. Great big strikeout to close it out. Alec Davis goes down swinging. And Carroll wins it by a count of two to one to take the opening game of this best of three series. We'll come back and recap this one, go the full seven innings. And the Carroll Dragons live to tell about the Hebron Hawks in game one of the best of three by a final count of two to one. You're listening to Hawk Playoff Baseball on CSR TV. Cast is under the direction and is copywritten by Champion Sports Radio. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of the audio stream, and any and all other use of the accounts of this broadcast without the direct written consent and permission of Champion Sports Radio is strictly prohibited. All rights are reserved by Champion Sports Radio and ChampionSportsRadio.com. This is a presentation of Champion Sports Radio, your home for championship broadcasts. In Command Broadcasting, a sports TV broadcasting and marketing company. In Command Broadcasting provides a wide array of turnkey video production and streaming services. In Command services include filming of sporting events, season highlights, school graduations, corporate infomercials, and documentaries. In Command streams your sporting event or company function over the internet live or on demand. Call 972-851-7888 to raise the energy of your next event. In Command Broadcasting, 972-851-7888. There's a time and a place for everything. As you'll see, projections for the next quarter are... He shoots, he scores! Two points for team middle management. The office is not one of them. Jack, can I see you in my office? No pouting, it's your ball, let's see what you got. But Whirly Ball is. For corporate events, team building, and private parties, Whirly Ball in Hearst and Plano is electric fun. Test your skills on the arcade games. Zip around in your Whirly Bug for a Whirly Ball competition. Or play the most affordable laser tag in the city. Learn more at whirlyball.info. Writer Gerald Early said that when they study our civilization 2,000 years from now, there will only be three things that Americans will be known for. The Constitution, baseball, and jazz music. GDYO's Jazz Institute provides young musicians in North Texas the opportunity to learn what it means to be a jazz musician through weekly technique classes and combo rehearsals with professional jazz musicians. From the first note to the final round of applause, GDYO Jazz Institute concerts will amaze and delight both hardcore jazz cats and new fans alike. Learn more about the truly original American art form through the GDYO Jazz Institute online at gdyo.org jazz. 
Are you looking for a way to promote your business or increase exposure? Do you just need more people to know that you're there? Join the Champion Sports Radio team and advertise during these games. In the last four years, Champion Sports Radio has broadcast over 600 games to more than 3.5 million listeners. And Champion Sports Radio wants to help you use major high school sports to reach thousands of local fans right in your community. Think about it. Die-hard fans just like you tune in each and every week giving your business unparalleled access to the community. It's the perfect way for smaller, individually owned businesses to cultivate a core clientele or expand their already loyal customer base. To secure your prime commercial spot during the broadcast, contact Thomas Lee at Champion Sports Radio by phone at 972-741-0334. That's 972-741-0334 or online at championsportsradio.com. Champion Sports Radio, your home for championship broadcasts. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that nearly 4 million brain injuries occur every year due to sports in the U.S. They also estimate that 70% of concussions go unreported. Not identifying concussions early can be devastating, especially if the athlete continues to play with symptoms. Catching hard hits fast is critical, and that's why you need the Shockbox Helmet Impact Sensor. The Shock Box is a small sensor that easily attaches to most football, lacrosse, and hockey helmets and instantly sends a signal to a smartphone on the sidelines when the player has taken a hard hit that puts them at higher risk for injury. The free app receives data from the sensor, displays information about the impact, and even walks the user through a concussion assessment. The app also logs symptom and impact data for future medical use. Visit ShockBoxDFW.com to learn more about the Shock Box Impact Alert Sensor and determine if it is the right option for your child. Be warned instantly when a player has experienced a head impact that could result in a concussion. Is it shot? Back in drag. Back at Dragon Field. Let's go down the field. Brad Denton's got head coach. Thank you, Peter, down Larry here on Hughes. the field with, um, well, the winning coach, Larry Hughes. We had a chance to just reflect on this thing. The first thing both of us wanted to talk about, senior right-hander Kevin Kramer, just as tough as nails again all evening long. He's been like that all year. I mean, I can't say enough about him. You know, I'm, I'm, I've said a lot of times you know, this year and before, hey, these guys, these power pitchers and people that are enamored with a 90-mile-an-hour fastball, they can they can talk about that all they want. Come watch Kevin Kramer. When you watch Kevin Kramer, I will take a guy like that over a 90-plus-mile-an-hour thrower every single game. You know, he's unbelievable. And Larry, I think you'll agree with you. The difference in the ball game is that he was right-hander, still pretty doggone good ball game, but lost the strike zone often enough to walk six, and it proves to be the difference in a two-one dragon win. Yeah, we're, it's good that we got on him. You know, in the first inning, and uh, you know, we got we got just enough. You know, I was hoping for more. We had a few chances, but you know, we got he he after the first inning, he settled down. You know, a little bit better, kept us off balance a little bit. We got a little undisciplined. We helped him out at the plate, swinging high pitches and, you know, we're just popping the ball up. We didn't do much offensively. And so, you know, um, that's where, boy, a guy like Kramer that doesn't give up much. I don't, I don't think he's given up in any inning over one run all year. I don't think he's given up a multiple run inning all year. No, and, and had a string of 13 straight retired tonight. Only walked one, the leadoff man there in the seventh inning. Yeah. yeah, and that's not a bad one to walk, really. I mean, you never want to walk the leadoff man last inning, you know, in a one-run game. But he's a, he's a kid. Boy, he is a tough out. You know, he had a triple, hit another long ball. He was a tough out. So we didn't want to give anything that he can hit, you know, out of the ballpark either. So, you know, we were just, you know, trying to hit a great spot with him. Yep, stick this one in your pocket and feel good about it. But. Pete and I are looking forward to a heck of a pitching matchup tomorrow night with a couple of underclassmen. Your junior right-hander, I'm sure Matthew Cantorino, uh, gets the baseball. He's 9-1. and one. The kiddo you just talked about, such a good baseball player, and Zach Deloche over there for Steve Stone's Heber and Hawks, I'm sure we'll get the start for him. And he is a cracker jack, and Zach just a sophomore. Yeah, if we can get Cantorino back from the band concert tonight, uh, 
you know, he will uh, definitely be our starting pitcher tomorrow night. I think everybody knows that. He had a band concert tonight. It was real important to him. Uh, but it's that's why it's good to have a uh, guy. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's good to have a Kevin Kramer just waiting to pitch whenever. He doesn't care when it is. He just wants to pitch. Larry, congratulations. Do it again right here tomorrow night. Thank you. There you go. Peter, back up to you. Let's go to break. We'll be back, wrap this thing up. Coach Hughes and Brad Denton, you could sell tickets for it every night. Back after these words. Point of Origin Design is your one-stop shop for all your apparel, promotional, event, or team uniform needs. Point of Origin Design is a full-service design and logo creation company that offers a wide variety of imprintable and embroidered products. With competitive pricing and quality work, you can't go wrong with Point of Origin Design. It's always best to start at the right point, so visit them online at pointoforigindesign.com. Let them help you plan your next promotional item or design your next t-shirt. That's online at pointoforigindesign.com. Are you tired of only spending time as a family huddled around the TV? Would you like to enjoy some culture with your loved ones without breaking the bank? Then let me introduce you to the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra. The GDYO provides music education and performance opportunities for musically talented youth, but this is no kid's concert. The GDYO comprises seven different ensembles made up of over 425 talented musicians ages 8 to 18, representing more than 50 communities in North Texas. You won't believe how amazing these ensembles sound until you hear it for yourself. So join them for one of their concerts at the Meyerson Symphony Center or Dallas City Performance Hall. For more information on how to make a donation, as well as a listing of upcoming GDYO concerts, visit gdyo.org. And if you know a talented young musician interested in an unbelievable experience, auditions take place in the spring. Connect with the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and at gdyo.org. There's a time and a place for everything. As you'll see, projections for the next quarter are... He shoots, he scores! Two points for team middle management. The office is not one of them. Jack, can I see you in my office? No pouting, it's your ball, let's see what you got. But Whirly Ball is. For corporate events, team building, and private parties, Whirly Ball in Hearst and Plano is electric fun. Test your skills on the arcade games. Zip around in your Whirly Bug for a Whirly Ball competition. Or play the most affordable laser tag in the city. Learn more at whirlyball.info. Many heart conditions can be fixed, but many of us don't know we have a problem until it's too late. On April 2, 2009, Zachary Schroff, a 16-year-old sophomore offensive lineman, died of sudden cardiac arrest, the number one cause of death among student-athletes. Like so many SCA victims, Zach had no heart issues, nor did anyone in his family. If Zach had an echocardiogram, he might have been able to avoid suffering a condition that takes 10,000 of our youth each year. In his memory, Living for Zachary was formed to try and prevent SCA from taking the lives of youth everywhere. Join in the fight today and stop the silent killer of SCA by scheduling your young athlete for an echocardiogram, a procedure that can detect any heart issue with 99% accuracy. For more information, visit www.livingforzachary.org. That's living, the number four, Zachary.org, and let your heart be heard. Back here at the ballpark at Plano West. Boy, this place emptied out in a hurry. It's just me and you and Coach Clark out there cleaning the field up. And a big crowd it was tonight, Pete. Yes, sir. Let's go through the box score. Hebron, from the first for Hebron, Derek leadoff there better. Derek Mueller goes one for three, a leadoff single back uh, in the sixth inning, unable to score, stranded at second base. Evan Alexander 0 for three on the night. Michael Newsifter 0 for 3. The big strikeout in the sixth inning, Brad, when when uh, Mueller was in scoring position, uh, will probably be, you can circle that one as the biggest out of the evening for Kevin Kramer. Zach Deloach 1 for 2 and, and a walk in the seventh inning. He gets stranded at second base as well. Ross Lau 0 for 3. Jarrett Farley 0 for 3 with an RBI. Alec Davis, 0 for 2, makes the last out, striking out with that runner in scoring position. Uh, Micah Floyd, pinch hit in the fourth inning, and he uh, reached by an error. Uh, Lane Moore goes 0 for 2, all uh, two strikeouts. And Josh Abelos, the shortstop, 0 for 2. 
on the, the pitching line for Hebron, uh, David Rodriguez, six innings complete, two hits, three strikeouts, six walks, two runs, both of them earned. Michael Snoosnifter came in and did a really nice job pitching the seventh inning after a uh, leadoff single. Gets out of the inning with no more runs scored. Rodriguez falls to 6-3 and three on the season. Kevin Kramer, the winner, goes the distance. He uh, raises the one-loss record now to 7-up and the two-down. Kramer into the ball game with an ERA of under one at .652 and does almost nothing to raise that. Gives up the one run, and Carroll wins it by a final count of 2-1. to one. You look at the lineup card for the Dragons, Drew Davis, Leadoff man goes one for four with the seventh inning base hit. He was left stranded. Casey Combs goes one for four, first inning single, and scored the game's initial run. Eric Cole, nothing for four tonight. Nick Motley, 0 for two, walked and scored a run. He had the Dragons' second run and last run. All of the Dragons' uh, tallies, both of them scored in the top of the first inning. Zach Farrar goes one for three and drives in. One of those first inning runs. Uh, Ross Cadena, nothing for two. Ryan Bellamy, 0 for 1. He got a walk, a uh, first inning RBI with a base on balls. Uh, Brendan Gonzalez finishes nothing for one. And uh, Stephen Billington, 0 for 2. Our final line score tonight the Carroll Dragons, two runs uh, on three hits. Uh, Carroll plays error free baseball, leaving seven on base. Hebron answers with. One run on two Hawk hits, one Hebron error, and three Hawks were left on base. Uh, Carroll scored the two in the top of the first. Hebron answered with one in the bottom of the seconds. After that, a lot of good pitching, a lot of good defenses, and nothing but zeros on the board. For our CSR TV champion sports radio crew, our cameraman is Trent Landry. For my partner, Pete Nielsen, I'm Brad Denton. And we want to thank all of our sponsors who made the broadcast possible. Tonight's broadcast of Carol Dragon Playoff Baseball has been brought to you by Meet You Anywhere Barbecue, by Alcor Marketing, by Nothing Bunt Cakes, by Heritage Homes, and by Priority Signs and Graphics. Also by Jeff Irwin, State Farm Insurance, by the Heineman Family, by Speedy V Car Wash, by Around the Plate Sports, by Aruzzo's Italian Street Food by Sports Med Chiropractic, by Classic Silks and Accents, and by Paragon Design Group. Carol Dragons Baseball is a presentation of Champion Sports Radio on Twitter at Champion Sports, Facebook.com slash Champion Sports Radio, and, gla- and glad if you tuned us in online at Champion Sports Radio.com. For a final time, our final score from the ballpark at Plano West, game one of a best of three Round two, Class 6A baseball playoffs. It's the South Lake Carroll Dragons extending their season record now to 23 wins against five losses, defeating the Hebron Hawks by a final count of 2-1. to one. With the loss, the Hebron Hawks have now won 20 with nine losses. We do it again tomorrow night, 7.30, first pitch. Be sure to join us. Until then, that's all for this time, and until next time, so long, everybody.